Hi, my name is Thomas Casson, and um, I'm a development coordinator with Food Bank. And just wanted to uh, thank everybody, man. This is awesome back here. Everybody helping out, sorting the food. And uh, just want you to know that um, this is really going to help folks. Uh, basically, families get this. Um, they get 100 pounds a time. And uh, the amount of food that you did and the sorting process and everybody spending time working as a community, serving the community, it's pretty cool. Thanks for all you do. I am so excited to see Cornerstone get involved in, in with the food bank. Um, I retired from a full-time position with the East Alabama Medical Center a couple of years ago and wanted to volunteer with some of the local groups and got involved with the food bank. That has been one of the most rewarding experiences and I'm just so excited that Cornerstone is going to be a part of that. We're here this morning to sort the food that we have been collecting during Food Stock 2013. Um, we have come out this morning as a family to unpack these boxes, to sort them, to get them repacked, to go out to the food bank later this morning. Tell, tell me what your name is. My name's Addison. And what are you doing this morning, Addison? I am. I'm, so, I'm sorting food. What are you doing with it after you sort it? Putting it on the tables. What kind of things are you putting on the tables? Um, rice, oatmeal, um, juice. others. So I'm standing here uh, at Hamilton Road um, and watching about 150 people with smiles on their faces running around um, putting uh, food in boxes and uh, we're getting ready to box all this up, take it down to the food bank and um, deliver it. And, you know, it's just amazing to watch it happen, and I'm so thankful to you and to our church for being, you know, so generous and kind and really showing the love of Jesus Christ to our community. And we believe what we're doing here today is really a gospel thing, that this is, um, if Jesus were here today, this is what he would be doing, and really um, that's what he did when he was on this earth, and this is what he called his followers to do, is to go out and do very practical things like feed people and love people and clothe people, you know, and make it very real for them the tangible love of Jesus Christ. And so really our ultimate goal here is, uh, is to do this throughout the year, is to really pray and ask God, you know, who's that person that, that needs your love? You know, who's a person that is in my world that I can go right now today and affect them in, a, in an amazing way? And so we just want to continually ask that because really the real change, the real power in this is when each of us individually make this a part of our life. Teach us how to do your will, oh God. We want to hear your voice, oh Father. Go where you lead, oh Father. To the sick and the needy, Father. Want to carry your kingdom. Want to hear your voice, oh Father. Go where you lead, oh Father. I'm Donna. I've been at the food bank since 2001. Never seen anything quite like this. It's very exciting this morning to see all this food come in and all these people and all these hands who have made this happen. This is going to make a real difference for our agencies and we're very excited about it.